I received Tamiya's Japanese medium tank type 97, or the Chiha, as a gift recently. In the past, I've built other Tamiya armor kits in 135th scale, and they all have this 1970 style rubber band tank track. Um, you can make them look passable with enough weathering and mud, but they never quite have the look like the weight of armored plated tracks. So the first thing I checked after opening the box was the tracks. Sure enough, right on top, there are those rubber band tracks. So I did a quick internet search and it didn't yield many results for this tank style of track. But other medium tanks ran anywhere from $20 to $25 for either resin or most likely metal with a resin pin. And then I thought, well, what about printing my own? I have this new 3D resin printer. So a quick search on Colts 3D resulted in one designer who did in fact make a lifelike STL of these exact track links. I'll post a link in the description, no pun implied. And that got me single links in both supported and unsupported files, as well as a group of 10 fully pre-supported links all grouped together. Since I would be needing about 200 or so for each side, I loaded up the 10 group pre-supported links into my Chitu box slicer. I then duplicated the file enough times that I filled the entire bed plate of my Saturn 12K resin printer. This resulted in about 150 links in one single print. You can see here that those 150 links would cost me about 38 cents with a 30 minute print time. So after three prints, I was all in for $6.14. Not a bad deal. After washing and curing, it was time to cut the supports away and clean up the individual links. I will tell you that this is far and away the most work for this project. I'm not sure how many hours I spent cutting, sanding, and evaluating those links, but it was more than I can do in one sitting. So here we are, a pile of links and a pile of supports. The supports go into the waste can after curing. Now we need a way to link the links with each other. The connection pins are cut from 26 gauge wire, which is about 0.4 millimeters. You can find this sort of wire online or in craft stores as jewelry making wire. I cut the wire longer than needed so that it was easier to connect the links and hold them linked until I had combined several of them. Pushing the wire from one side until it was flush with the resin print, I then came back with a dab of super glue on the end of each wire. After the glue cured, I clipped the other side flush. You can put super glue on this side as well. I didn't find it necessary, but it certainly wouldn't hurt. Then it's a matter of linking enough links together to make it long enough to match the rubber tracks. I kind of did them in groups of 10 so I could keep the count easy and it was easier to manage. But feel free to just keep linking them together until you have a pre-measured amount. Painting them up starts with a good primer. For me, this is my go-to Vallejo Surface Primer in flat black. I used my airbrush and sprayed them flat, hitting all the sides. After an overnight drying cure, I worked the links into a coil to make sure no primer was bridging the gaps. The final coloring was started with a dark green, which I lightly sprayed over to black. While this was still wet, I oversprayed a mixture of Panzer Gray, Gray Green, and Light Green. I just eyeballed the mix until it looked like a sun-faded military green color. Once I get the kit built, I'll come back to the tracks and add rust, weathering, bare steel to match the weathering I give the kit. Keep an eye out for the uh, Chahi build coming up after this, and you should see these links and how they finally fit and hang on the vehicle. Anyhow, um, I hope everybody's having a great day, and happy hobbying.